Hello and welcome to Eldritch Theater's Deadly Doom of the Dungeons of Duodenum Character Creation Tutorial. I am Michael Ripley, the Dungeon Master and host for the production. Your first step as a participant is to create an account with D&D Beyond. This tutorial assumes you've already set up your account. So to begin, grab the campaign link for the night you've signed up for, paste that into the address bar, click return, and that will take you to this, the join a campaign page. Look at the date listed here to confirm you're creating a character for the correct night. Beyond that, what does all of this mean? Well, if you would like, you can use one of the pre-generated characters we have here in this, the available characters in campaign list. If you would like to create a character from scratch, click the create a character button. First thing you want to do is type in your character's name and your real name. Then make sure only homebrew content is activated as a source. Everything else on this page can be left as is. Click the advancement arrow to move to the next step. This will take you to the Choose a Race page. So, for the purposes of this event, restrict your race choice to those we've created. They are accessible by selecting Homebrew from the drop menu here. Click on a race to see a breakdown of what it offers. There'll be more or less depending on the race you choose. Once you've decided on a race, select Choose Race. You will then see a list of the race-based characteristics, traits that your character will have. Click the plus sign to look at them. And once you're satisfied, proceed to the next step. Here you get to choose your character's class from well, the list on this page. As it was with choosing a race, you can get a preview of what that class is by clicking on an item. If you like what you see, click Add Class. Now, all adventurers will begin at level 3, so the next thing you want to do is select 3 from the level drop menu. You'll notice a few of the options below here are highlighted in blue. Click on the plus button and select away. I'm just going to quickly fly through here. If, you cho if you've chosen a character that has access to magic, you can select your spells by clicking here. Once you've chosen the maximum, the rest of the spells will gray out. Once you've completed making your selections, click on the arrow and proceed to the Ability Scores page. So for simplicity and balance, everyone will be using what's called a standard array. Place the highest score in the ability you want to be best at and the lowest in the one you care the least about. More information can be found elsewhere in D&D Beyond, but you'll find especially helpful tips in this section dedicated to your character's class. Click on the arrow and that will bring us here. Now you get to choose a background. Think of your background as what your character did before they became an adventurer. Each background comes with a selection of skills, sometimes languages, proficiencies. Feel free to fill out as much of the other sections as you wish. Now for the last section, equipment. Choose equipment here under the starting equipment section. Pick what suits your fancy. And to confirm, click on add starting equipment. Now go into your inventory and equip yourself. Anything that has a green wheeled button beside it, give that a click 
That way it will appear on your character sheet. Click the arrow to proceed and then click view character sheet. And voila, you're ready. If you want to fine tune your character, click on the avatar. Right now here it's a silhouette. You can add your own picture if you wish. That will bring up this pop-up menu and you can choose from the options here to tweak as you wish. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at michael at eldritchtheater.ca. That's all for now. Thanks for giving us this opportunity to witness your gruesome death. <laughs> Bye for now.